22 damage. Okay. And against Mr. Rudge. Mr. Rudge. Mr. Rudge, Mr. Dibs. Yep, yep. Uh, 23 damage. 23. Son and of a bitch. The guy in, in front of you, kind of like, as he fires, he like banks off and accelerates um, to get further away from you. Uh, he's still probably about a thousand feet away from you because he has to go behind you. Yeah. Just like as we're landing, the drone's gonna actually like peel off from our main group and like fly towards the guy that's downed. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, all right, so that brings it to Zero's turn. Uh, and so you guys land on the ground and in a sort of more concentrated bundle. Flow right. holding on. Um, he's gonna hover around Rudge and be a body. I land, you, I mean, smash into the ground, but whatever. Yeah. Same way. Yeah, I mean, we spent two turns in the air. I could have repaired Rudge's armor in that time. Oh, please. That would, That's two rounds. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. So that's yeah. 100 MDCs back. Yeah. You're still holding on to him, so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's definitely something that he wants. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right now, this is keeping me alive. I mean, that's better than Willow wasting two of her turns doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, so Rudge, you're like, uh, like, uh, carapace integrity falling. Uh, carapace yeah. integrity at 100%. And you're like, oh, thank God. That's kind of the best part about this is, like, I can hear your internal yeah. radio going off. And I'm like, ooh, I should probably fix that. That's annoying. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it either because it means death. Warning, you are about to be destroyed by lasers. Yeah, I have it. I, I have it, like, very personalized, too. Like, <laughs> if you take any more laser fire, you will certainly die. I know. Try taking less damage. Oh, yes, I'm trying. <laughs> Remember, keep your health above zero. <laughs> mm -hmm. The best way to survive. Yep. Uh, all right, so, yep, you land. Uh, what's zero doing? Oh, uh, yes. Uh... <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I guess. Oh yeah. Um, without without needing to protect Rudge, then he will uh go over to. How close are we to the cycle? Uh, maybe like fifty feet away. Okay, and how close are we to the guy? About the same. Do we want the guy? The, 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 dr the drone's going to the guy. Ah. Yeah. The the dr the drone's probably gonna execute him. Oh, okay, I was gonna say if we if we want the guy, we could take him too. No, I mean, I, I like the what's gonna happen is the drone's gonna like pick him up, like threateningly, like stop shooting or we'll kill him, and then presuming they're gonna keep shooting at us, it's just gonna kill him just in case. Oh, all right. I figured we could just throw him in the bay of holding and take him with for his armor. I mean, if if you want that, yeah, I'm game. Yeah, all right. Uh, so um, zero goes over there. Uh, that was a drone talking to you, so it's probably like, all hollow sounding and creepy. Yeah, you want that? <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, like, zero goes like, over there. Uh, zero, go, go interact with that wasp drone, <laughs> and uh, tell him that you're taking the corpse. <laughs> Willow's telling you that the the calibrations for its weapons. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you are clearly using point zero zero two four two three three eight nine six six six. Mm, uh, so I knew I was off. Um, it okay, does so the math in the ground, like drawing. Zero goes over there, Rudge. What are you doing as a person? As a person, Rudge goes over to the bike. Okay, and then Willow. Um, was there still a guy generally close range? I can't remember on the sky cycle. Uh, about away? a thousand feet away. That's within range, so I'm gonna shoot at him. Yep. I think I that's with... forgot about that. As well, that he was uh, so close. So no, I think you, you should assess the damage on the bike. That's more important, actually. Okay. I mean, Willow could do that if you'd rather no, no, go it's up. No, no. We have that big ass cannon. Thing. Oh yeah, actually, you're. I don't have range for that, so why don't you shoot it? Oh, I do. <laughs> Within a thousand, I have a thousand foot range. So. Yep. There you go. <laughs> okay. So I'll shoot it. Yeah. You you just focus on the, the vehicle. Because if we can get that up and running, we could just try and use that. All right. Uh, so that'll be a. Um, 15 minus whatever penalties for his... Oh, wait, is he, he's stationary because he flew in between us, didn't he? Uh, no, he's he's not stationary. He's, uh... He's going... He, it would be a minus 2. Okay, so 15 Maybe minus 13. three. Not minus 2. Uh, okay. yep, so he still hits. Okay. 
Jesus. Oh, I'm out of attacks anyway. You're out of attacks? Yep. Okay. So oh, jeez, really? really? Oh, yeah, because I've had to, like, hold stuff and do stuff. Oh, and yeah, I forgot you're actually damn. <laughs> forgot you've been doing stuff. I've just been kind of sitting there. Right, bullshit. I've been shrinking and weightlifting and doing things. <clears throat> Damage. It's nice to be Sorry, using. what was that? Damage. F 15? 18. 1, 8. 18, oh, okay. yeah. Seriously, you kept cutting out on the damage. Yeah. I know. <laughs> like, I need to get a new... Like, I have a, I have a really nice headset, but it's, like, breaking at the up spot I can't fix. Um, alright. So that is... Oh, shit. I think you guys might actually see Willow reload her weapon for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing a lot of ranged fire now. Uh, yeah. Alright, so that brings it to their last attack. Um... So right. Them. So the uh, the guy who's like close to you, he just moves further out, um, yeah. flies away, uh, and then the guy further away is going to fire a uh, another volley. Yeah, he's gonna fire a volley of four at. Uh, in like Reg's direction. Alright. I'm sticking that point defense up so he'll take a shot first. Alright. Uh, holy fuck, that's awesome. Uh, 18 on the die, so. Nice. Well, so let's see. Okay, yep, you blow up all the missiles. <laughs> like, the, the, this is what I imagined. So the drone's flying over, discussing the calibrations with um, zero. <laughs> Drawing in the ground with one claw, reaches up with two, shoots the things down, yep. and grabs the guy with the final claw. All right, um, so that's you know, that's the end of their turn. Uh, does anyone else have any? Uh, we'll still have two attack. We'll still okay. two. Is there uh, anything she wants to do? Uh, seeing as they're out of range, not necessarily. I think what she would do with her first actiony thing is look around the terrain, see if we could find some place to take cover, All and right. then. With the second assist rudge with figuring out how much damage is on the machine if if she could fix it with two attacks she could potentially repair some of it okay um yeah let's see your, your call how that wants to go down because technically two actions is enough for her to do any of her abilities yeah um so, let's your call has three attacks okay so um it it's definitely like recoverable damage um it looks like the the sort of like control console on the front took a bit of uh, a battering um you might be able to fly it uh you're i mean you guys have never flown something like this so you're not sure precisely how yeah, I mean, it operates plus it's alien hovercraft yeah it's like, an alien, both... it's alien <laughs> technology to you it's nice because we both have probably 98% hovercraft flying, but it's still like a negative 40 for aliens, so. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little... So, like, Willow, and, like, from your diagnosis, you would probably want to, like, just touch it up and check some of the, uh, some of, like, the more vital components to make sure that they're not damaged, ideally. If you think that's um, something that you could do quickly, or would that be, like, an after combat thing? That would be, like, a couple of minutes, so at least okay so um, so current current uh, okay new idea <laughs> is it still on uh no damn <laughs> i was gonna say we just turn this thing towards them and use the, the buttons to shoot <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you'd have to try it like you could figure out how to use it but you yeah you would um, be winging it okay so rudge my best assessment is that Provided we weren't under fire, we could probably repair this thing, but I don't think in combat it's a wise idea. Mm. So well, I think we're going to have to deal with these two before we deal with this. Alright, let's do it. We warned them. Alright, um... So... That brings it... Oh, that's the end of the melee. Uh, Alright, so... After after that engagement, the the two remaining sky cycles they they go out to like three thousand feet away from you. Yeah, they're just moving like over half a mile away, just be like eh. yeah. And then they just they they both kind of like end up near each other and, and like turn around, and it seems like they're 
considering their options. Like, while they do that, like, the drone's just gonna, like, fly up, like, prepared to engage, looking, you know, like, looking all menacingly. Yeah. Like, hey, I've shut down all of your missiles, come at me. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I dare you to come, to come forward. Um, yeah, well, yeah, like, loudspeaker, just be like, if you retreat, you can have your companion back. If you engage, he will die. How's that, Rudge? Does that sound okay to you before she says that out loud? Oh yeah, uh, whatever. I don't need the I don't need the, the person. I just want so the the, the, dr the drone will go down and like pick up the person. Did you check on the person? Yeah, zero did. Okay, uh, his is fine. Oh, okay. Like, so. Okay, so we'll Rudge, have to... you I... might be able to save him just because you're like an amazing doctor. If you just like immediately went in to do some like yep. some like cyber surgery and uh, like some serious like medical stuff, but like he's pretty fucked otherwise. I guess uh, so. So zero relays to me medical update. I say to Willow, this one will uh, die. If you know within minutes, if. Uh, if I save him, would it be for anything? Do you think he'd give us secrets? Doubtful, but like, one thing we could do is try and use this as a bargaining chip, being like, hey, whether you want it or not, we could try and save him. Just, just to be clear, he's, he's like um, medically dead at this point. Like, the only reason you think you have a chance is because you're like an amazing doctor with like Xeno technology that's really right. fancy. And I, so right now I, I'm Billy Crystal and he's mostly dead. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the situation. Like, you're pretty confident that without you being here and like immediately starting to work, no chance. Yep. So, I mean, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not even like rushed about it. I just present the situation. I'm like, I can save him, but with every second gone. It, the, the the chances go down. I feel like even if we did save him, they wouldn't accept the help. All right. And they'd probably think we've done something to him. So, is there something off his person you wanted? Because I think we should just offer them to take his body and leave. No, oh, it was just going to be the armor to outfit our our people. I mean, we just take pictures of it really quick. No, I mean, just like, you know, just a, just a good a good high high end suit that we could take. Oh, I mean, we can make better ones than this, probably. Oh, all right. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go back to her first thing, where she'll pick up the body, like, as gently as the drone can. With the drone, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it has six arms, so... Um, and then if, uh, yeah. if, it, if the guy has weaponry and gear, Zero would take all that. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're like, we're definitely gonna, like, it's, we're gonna, like, remove his helmet, and... So they don't get that back. Okay. Yeah, he probably has a sidearm, and, yeah. uh... That sort of thing. Uh, I'll, I mean, if you removed his helmet, he'd probably be. If you just pulled it off, mm -hmm. that's that's gonna kill any chance you might have. Of, nope, he's say, dead. That's fine. It's <laughs> it's past where we thought it was realistic, anyways. Yeah. So I mean, what could, we're gonna... but if there's no point, I'm not wasting my expertise on a guy trying yeah. to kill me. Several times. Yeah. <laughs> and we give them lots of warnings. Yep. So well, yeah, we'll just remove his helmet and his. Anything gear that's easily removable. The drone will fly up with his corpse loudspeaker being like, Hey, you can have his body back if you agree to flee. Otherwise, we'll just destroy his corpse and then you. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. All right. Um, there's like a couple of minutes that go by. Um, like a minute or two where they, they well, seem we'll, to be deliberating. We'll definitely be fixing the hover bike in that time period. Okay. Give me a... a Mechanical engine. Oh god, here's where I fucking roll awful. Can can anyone help with that stuff? Do you uh, have mechanical engineering? Oh, I have mechanics basic. Hmm. I mean, she rolled 18 anyway, so that's uh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, all so right. Mechanical engineering is at in the 70s. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So, so that's really good. Um, all right, yeah, you figure out the like the basics of the controls. Uh, you obviously still have the penalty for using it, but um, actually, actually, with a forty percent penalty, like that's actually still success. Yeah. 
just knowing how it works. Yeah, she she literally succeeded by one point. Wow. Yeah, so basically, yeah, you figure out the basic controls and you you clean some of the stuff off and make a couple like minor repairs. You're pretty confident that with somebody who knows how to fly it, it'll fly just fine now. Um, yeah. And then there is also some damage to the the chassis, which you can repair. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much like perfect condition now. Nice. Yeah. So the drone will fly up, and then like if they Those wait and like don't mega damage them, vehicles are much more durable than humans. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, if they like don't respond soon enough willow will like att she'll attempt a piloting check to just try and fly it up all menacingly like now we have this too all right uh yeah so about two minutes go by which would be during the time that you're you're giving it a touch up yeah. and then you hear the loudspeaker kind of like out across the uh the place i mean you guys are pretty far apart so it's, like it's probably only because of enhanced hearing well, like no, I, I, well, can... well like because like the suits go like 80 decibels that's pretty loud I guess that's true, that's but like, miles. would you be able to make out like words very well? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, I, I mean, you can definitely understand. Uh, yeah, because I mean, like, just as an example, the example they give at the loudspeaker range is that it's like the exact same as like a lion's or like a tiger's roar. Right. So you could physically hear it several miles away, and within a mile or so, you could hear clearly. Yeah. Assuming the train doesn't fuck it up. Right. Which I mean, you're in the air, or there yeah, in the air at least. Yeah, so it's your um, call. How you wanna? I'm just. Yeah, I mean, you you can understand. Yep. Uh, yeah, so uh, he calls out, uh, "Leave the body in the vehicle there, and we'll let you go." <laughs> I'm gonna kill these guys. Like Willow, Willow misses being a fiery ball in the air shooting at people. Okay, Rudge, they say no. Basically, <laughs> you uh, can have the body. We're taking the bike. And, like, <laughs> that's what the drone will say out loud. All right. Your desire to chase us down has forfeited the bike. If you wish your lives forfeit, engage. All if right. this bike is worth your lives, continue the engagement. Okay. I mean, they, they sort of, they do not engage as you guys, fin Willow finishes up her, uh, her, Touch up on the bike. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll... Yeah, I mean, like I said, as soon as the bike is operatable, she'll, like, fly up in the air menacingly. All right. Uh, yeah, give me a, a roll. Pilot? Yeah, pilot. Hover vehicle roll. Oh, no, that's not a good... Minus oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well... What'd you get? I rolled a 98. 98? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing you did that while you're on the ground. Yep. Uh, all right, so you, you're like, okay, I'm pretty sure uh, I got this. And uh, you just, like... <laughs> you're like, oh, shit, it, it's, uh, it's not inverted controls or whatever. Yeah. And just, yeah. like, boom, slam it into the ground. Uh, so you drive the nose of the thing, like, you know, a ways across the ground. Um, it does not look intimidating. No, 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 not at all. Oh, God damn it! You're like, ah, right. Up is the other direction. Um, I mean, other than that, you're fine, but... Yeah. She just, like, talks to Rush. She's like, what kind of animal does not invert the controls on an aircraft? <laughs> I, I don't know if that seems primalistic to me. No, I mean, I'm sure that... Mm -hmm. Like, why would their controls not be inverted? Yeah. Well, I probably got knocked loose, so... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Want to try and get up again, or...? Yes. Alright. Give me another roll. Oh, there we go. Twelve. Alright, yeah, so you, you take off right this time, and yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, I got this. As you zoom, hover up into the air. Recalibrate the controls, like idiots. <laughs> um... They like that guy had his own personal setting set to like booze cruise. Oh yeah, yep. So it's oh, like his drunk I... driving setting. Uh do the weapon system say there's any missiles left? Uh yes. There are 
in that one. Let's see, there are eight plasma missiles left and seven frag missiles. Perfect. So she'll arm the missiles just so that way they can see that they're armed. Yep. So and she's gonna and she's gonna be like, I tell you again, you can have the body if you leave. The vehicle is ours. Last warning. We have no desire to kill you. And take your vehicles. But you, yeah, <laughs> but you've given us no choice. And we do like your vehicles, so we would gladly kill you for them. <laughs> if, that's what you're, if that's what you're pointing this out to. Um, all right, so yeah, they, they kind of um, look at each other again, and like, without responding, they they oh, move Roger, back. Roger, you should float up, too. Yeah, I was going to with the gun. <laughs> um... Yeah, they they back off. Uh, they 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 turn around and like start heading away. Uh, it seems kind of caught. Like they're they're slowly moving away. Um, they're kind of like slowly for you know a hover bike that goes yeah. maximum hundreds of miles an hour, yeah. uh, like fifty miles an hour, uh, kind of like crossing over between each other and like sort of watching you as they as they move back south. Okay, so we're going to land back down where the crash was. Like, me, right. like the, the drone is going to go down there. And then I'm just going to place the body down there. Actually, is there like a high ledge that we could like place the body on so it's not like uh, on the ground for wolves? Yeah, you could just put it like up uh, on like the top of the ridge. Or yeah, something. we're going we're gonna to do that. Then we're going to like... It's like a, a flat rock. Yeah, just something where he's not gonna get like mauled by like wolves the moment we walk away. You take the uh did you take the all the armor or just like the helmet and stuff? I'm helmet off. Now, now I'm taking all of it. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say now that this is a scenario. Okay. Yeah, so let's see here. This is Oh shit, I didn't even look at the time. We're we're like way over. Oh shit. Oh. Wow, nine twenty. Yeah. <laughs> I was so caught up in the stalemate. No one was gonna budge. I was gonna write yeah, like the apology. Like, I mean, it's a too. standard like uh, it's like dead boy. Yeah, the standard like, like infantry armor. Is it the old armor, or the newer one? Uh, it's the older armor. Okay, that's easy to find. I'll, I'll figure it out then. What old dead boy? <laughs> yeah, he's got a um, a vibro knife and a uh, pistol. Okay, so. Standard dead boy armor. The old armor is uh, 50. Yeah, I got it all here. Unless you got it already. Is that you posting yeah, it? You got it. I know. Yeah, I got it here. Uh, normal weapon. Is it? It must be active. Is it light or heavy? Uh, just light. light. Yeah. Yep. yeah just... It's not like it saved him. Um. And then the pistol he has is the uh, C-18. Just standard issue, sidearm. Okay. It's 2d4 damage, 800 feet. Yeah, I got it right here. I can... You said you had a vibro knife? Yep. I love that I can actually just copy and paste from the PDF to Discord. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Well, this is yeah, just random stuff that we're gonna give to our your dudes. Our dudes. Just yeah, I mean, this is like kind of. I feel, I feel like we need to like we need to talk about getting a spy agent. Actually, now that I think about this, we should think about like training somebody in some collision ways. Yeah, even if it's not infiltrating, just someone that can like pass for one if we need to. Yeah, just to get because obviously you guys aren't very good at it. Oh, no. I think that's what what you learned. We learned from this expedition. Wait, we learned something from this? I thought oh, we look at the collision, we get a free bike. Well, you did get, yeah, you didn't come out behind. I almost got the robot. <laughs> you almost got the robot, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, mean, I don't think that that would have been a good idea to stay there for another round, though. No. Okay, ne next time, Rudge, we're just gonna throw the robot really high into the air All right. and that then drop it. it from like orbit. <laughs> that would have been a good score, though. <laughs> um. Okay, so yeah, you leave the body out there, and then where are you guys going to go? Yeah, so my plan is to actually go, like, assuming Rudge is cool with it, idea being we're going to go 
and cause assuming we're over like this direction, go like, oops. You guys are like right here-ish right now. Yeah, I mean like if you can see my. Yep, looking. I can see her. Yeah, basically just like go go this general direction wherever we're at, and then like basically to where if they're if they are following us, they'll see us head east. Right. Yeah. And then we're gonna go up north and then loop back around. Yeah, loop around a, a good ways. Okay. Yeah. Sounds and then also, seeing as we also have a, a flying bike now too, we'll scout the terrain a little bit better. All right, and yeah, you're gonna fly on the bike, Willow. Oh hell yeah. Okay. Unless so, actually, Rudge, do you want? You seem rough. Do you want to ride it? Well, right, so yeah, you can sit. It's, you should be able to fit two people on there, right? Probably. I don't think it's designed to. Have yeah, I mean, people. like we're not going to be like doing anything like combat yeah, wise, you, just like no, riding. Yeah, it's like a motorcycle, so yeah, you, you can sit two people on it. I mean, realistically, you could... Oh, um, wow, yeah, that would be really tight with two people. Yeah, it, it even says, uh, can possibly seat one passenger, but dangerous and uncomfortable for the passenger. Yeah, yeah no, Which, I, I, I guess that I makes just... sense. If, like, if you're going at full speed, because this thing's max speed is like 540 miles an hour, you would not want to be a passenger. No, I'll just... You, I'll just go... I'll just go weightless and tether. Just, like, behind it. <laughs> It's a balloon above it. <laughs> You're like water skiing yep. with the, uh, yep. Yep, yep. the freaking jet bike. Yep, that's what we're doing. All right. Yeah, this sounds legit. Um, all right. So, yeah. Man, that, that thing is like 90% engine. I mean, it's fast. 500 miles. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta. This get thing, them. they're like crazy fast. I gotta get this on. Yeah. That's a. I don't know exactly, but that's at least Mach one. Uh, six ninety is Mach one. Yeah. Well, technically, well, it depends on elevation. Actually, six thirty is Mach one. So, okay, so it's not quite Mach one. Yeah. I remember because Gary. Right. Yeah, you would know that. Yes. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. Here, I can. I can post. Yeah, I got the stats here too. We can. Just so right. we don't have to be like, what is the stat? Yeah, so you can take off. Uh, you do notice, like, the, the two other skycicles are... They're still there, um, like, within long range. Oh, um, my, my bad, my bad. Mach 1 is 340. Mach okay. 2 is 7. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, that's why. Mach right, because Garrett can... Yeah, he can go, like, Garrett Mach, can fly. He can go like he Mach can 3 Mach. when he pushes it. <laughs> but he can, like, go, like, Mach 2 all the time. Yep. Okay, so it's like mock one and a half. Yep. Um, this is kind of a weird way to do it, but at least we have the stats here for free to reference. There you go. <clears throat> if the book um, didn't separate all stupidly, that would have been easier. <laughs> yeah. So you um, you guys take off. Uh, the other two skycicles are still like watching, but they don't pursue you once you like start leaving um so that you know they're probably staying to look which direction you were going um yeah like just to be dramatic too we'll stop several times going out east like we're like we'll set up like pretend little camps just in case they decide to pursue okay so yeah so you head out that way and you actually, you have like legit stops actually to repair stuff too <laughs> i was like all right i need to i mean red Rudd, needs to treat his injuries yeah like I wouldn't mind giving myself some practical attention. Um, all right, so after like a couple, uh, this is probably going on like two hours of your your extended uh, escape. Um, you finally feel like you've shaken them. I just want to point out that it worked, though. No, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, oh, they, yeah. they weren't they weren't giving you up easily, but uh, you eventually got out of there. I mean, every time they engaged, they took losses yep and you definitely learned more about their um their strategies i guess with that that sort of thing so that's valuable yeah like that like that video footage is gonna be awesome for titanus to like evaluate yep uh all right so yeah for for next session what are your guys' general plans from this point um you unfortunately you didn't really learn what you came to learn there because you were driven away before you could figure anything out about what happened with that. Uh, Mach 1 is 760 miles an hour, just so everyone knows. No, that's two. Official. No, it's not. 
Just Google it. Well, that's what I did. <laughs> How fast is Mach 1? So, span of seed 1 is... Bleh. Speed of Mach 1 is 768 miles per hour. We're, oh, I bet summer it's like feet per second. Oh, maybe uh, that's what I saw. It was the 3. Oh, uh, no, it's a little... Oh. No, because it's 1,125 okay, feet Okay, yeah, second. so it's 343 meters per second. That's, that's what, what I saw. Okay. But see, that's yeah. why that's why I was thinking yep. it was lower too. Yep, and that's yep. what I saw when I did when I googled. I saw the if, meters first. Like, if you take any physics classes, you're you're looking at velocities in meters per second. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, so miles per hour, like an idiot. Yep. Seven hundred sixty-one oh. miles an hour. Yeah, at sea level on a standard day. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, um. So. We did learn actually some things that are important. One, their garrison, they definitely have. They don't have as many armaments that, that as we were expecting. So that does kind of tell us a few things. <sighs> I wasn't really expecting us to get all that information anyways. That was more of a scout to see kind of what they're doing. So we do know that they will have um, robots, aircraft, and heavy amounts of troops. So we did gain actually a bunch of information. Um, I'll probably, maybe I'll like type something up just to kind of give you an idea of what Willow and Titanus are thinking, Ben, because I'm not sure yet. Right. Because... Um, yeah, that's fair. I, I, I just thinking right now, I'm not 100% certain. I think we might need to spend some time just building shit. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to go back to the settlement and kind of... Yeah, I, there, pretty much. yeah. I, I mean, unless Rudd, you can think of something. We need to actually just like spend some downtime building because we have like nothing. I think we need to like arm our people properly. No, yeah, absolutely. That's what I, that's what I want. All right. Yeah, and so, then di uh, didn't we learn? I thought didn't we learn of a location that was a good place for it was what was the circle? <laughs> uh, this red circle. Yes. There was a ruined city there. That's what I thought. Isn't that where we were going to... Maybe we should go explore there, because didn't we hear that there might be resources there? Uh, yeah, it is uh, is apparently a place that you shouldn't go because it's dangerous. Um, there's lots of nasty stuff there, so there's because of that, there's probably good stuff there. Yeah, that's you know? what it was. <laughs> the usual. Yep. Nobody wants to go there, so nobody's gone there, and that means there's still stuff there. Yeah. So... Maybe do a bit of a, a time lapse to get the machinery up and running. Get a little bit more gear for our people. Do we have enough resources to start doing that? I think we do. What are we've got a decent amount of like salvage metal that you're? Yeah, because we got. Yeah, the metal we're doing good on. I know. I think it's the components that we're going to soon run into an issue with. Oh, we're doing. Yeah, two hundred fourteen pounds. Yeah, I guess if you spend the time to grow uh, living metal trees, then you can just make everything out of that, right? Yeah. But, I, yeah, I mean, the main thing with that is that Willow needs to be the one to grow the trees. So. Actually, you know, that might be a good idea, get the trees growing. Get some trees growing so we can actually do some Nolly and living metal stuff. Yeah, because with that... You just, you don't need the component metal distinction, right? Well, that's what that was for. That's what the three to one ratio was. That's why I was going to talk to you, th thinking about reevaluating this, because I think this is actually too high in components. But I, yeah, we, we actually, me and you should actually talk about that, exactly how we want to do that. Because we did this, I think this was like a quick fix that we had. Well, so that was for if you were just making stuff, right? Yeah, so, well, it says... The living uh, metal is... If I, I remember correctly reading it, it says, like, it's it can be used to, like, make anything pretty much, right? Correct, yeah, but I think you came up with the, the 3 to 1 ratio, and I right. don't know where you came up with that. You told me that one. That's just for um, if you're not using... Okay, so that that's just like the meta yeah. manipulation. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah if you okay. look at the the main thing is the the components give more. They're like higher treated as higher quality if you're converting them into trees, which is on the on that manufacturing rules handout on rule twenty. 
Oh yeah, I gotta look at that. They're in the ninety to one hundred percent bracket. Where oh, yeah, maybe I'm, I might actually just be forgetting that actually. Yep. <clears throat> so seventy five percent of raw material value. Wait. Oh yeah, I, I actually I forgot this handout was a, a thing. That's why. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think we should just do that. I think we should just focus on getting some Nolly and metal or <clears throat> living metal stuff up. All right, sounds good. Yeah, it, it gives me a pretty good idea of what we're going to do for next session, so that's good. Yeah, so... I got the uh, city stuff. Yeah, Rudd, Rudd, how do you... You guys so, could over there whenever you wanted to. What if we... So, what about, like, semi-short slash in the near future plans? What if we got one of, like, the Nolian vehicles up rather than just putting around in these shitty-ass Earth vehicles? <laughs> yeah, whatever you think is best. These, uh, these I mean, have, these I feel have like... their uses, but I think they're very limited. I mean, I'm just trying to think like if we, if we focused on getting like an actual military vehicle, out, we could potentially go to this more dangerous area. Mm, yeah, I don't know for sure. So okay, so how about near future plans? Plan on building. A vehicle that can actually do something. Do we want to bring like a little squad to the city, or do we just want to go just us two? Uh, I mean, a squad is good backup. You know, more more things accomplished, multitask. But I feel we're the only ones truly capable to, uh, you know, get out un unscathed. Yeah. It's just more more people to protect. Honestly, I can build a couple more drones. Yeah, I would. I would rather go in with unmanned units than. Yeah, me too. Than... Okay, so Ben, how's this sound? So, near future plans, um, get some gnawing living metal, like the living trees growing, so then we can craft a few more drones to go check out that city. How's that sound? Right. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to log off because it's getting late. <laughs> yep. Good game, though. You guys. Yeah, that was really fun. Mm hmm. Yeah. We made it up. Woo. Yeah. yeah we well, made it well fought. I wasn't going to. I was de determined to not make that easy for you. So yeah, good we're, job. We're pulling the punches. Nope. They're not going to be stupid about nice. fighting these people. Good, good. So, see you guys next Wednesday for God Game? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, is it next Wednesday already? Yep.